And then you know, for charcoal grilling fans, there used to just be one choice to make. But as consumer reports show, there may be other options besides pre-soaking your briquettes in lighter fluid. Mark Charter of KGA 9 explains. From hardwood to coconut shell, there are now more and more varieties of grill fuels that are showing up on store shelves. So consumer reports testers set out to settle one debate, which is better, classic briquettes or lump charcoal. Sometimes only grilling over a charcoal fire will do, but what type of charcoal, lump or briquettes? I prefer briquettes. Um, I find that the taste is a little bit better than the other type of charcoal. Briquettes are made primarily of sawdust, and each piece has a consistent shape, so that means they burn more uniformly. Lump charcoal, 100%, only, ever. Lump charcoal is charred wood pieces of different sizes and shapes. The labels often claim that they burn hotter and longer than briquettes, Consumer Reports set out to settle this rivalry with science. CR testers burned three pounds each of briquettes and lump coal in two very different grills, an 18-inch Weber kettle and a big green egg. Then they brought out the scientific instruments. Thermocouples on the grates collected the precise temperature for each. Then that info goes to a computer, turning it into a heat description map. Overall, the lump charcoal burned about 40 to 50 degrees hotter than the briquettes. For evenness, the lump charcoal only got a fair score in the Weber kettle, but it got a very good score in the Big Green Egg. And in a duration test in the Big Green Egg, the lump coal maintained a low temperature of 250 degrees for 11 hours versus just four for the briquettes. The briquettes got excellent scores for evenness in both grills, and the briquettes burned evenly throughout. So what should you choose? Well, the testers found lump charcoal is probably best for when you want a hot sear on a steak and that smoky flavor that comes from real wood. Also for cooking low and slow, but... Briquettes are easier to stack, light, and control, and they're a whole lot cheaper. Whichever you choose, happy grilling. All right, if you think those heat maps are cool, Consumer Reports uses them for gas grills as well, and they have a map for every grill that they test. You can find more about that on our website, kgun9.com. Mark Charter, KGun9 on your side.